How's it going, guys? Dre here, and welcome back to another episode of the Best Besiege Creations. This week, we are starting off with something really special here. This is called the Goblin Landship, and it does definitely look like goblin technology, and yes, this is a boat. Well, it's a tank boat, or is it, is it a trike? Well, I guess the best way to explain it is it is indeed a land ship. So yeah, this one is very fascinating. It's also got a lot of technology in here. You can see the suspension on the uh, tracks, which is really nice. It also has these wheels that help keep the tracks on. So uh, a very well thought out piece of machinery here. Now we do have a rocket launcher on the front as well. So we can indeed take out things. Now, what do we want to kill today? Decisions, decisions. I'm seeing that the tower is in perfect placement right now. So we got to go for that and see if this long range rocket is any good. One thing I will say, uh, I hope the goblins don't want to aim quickly because look at this sway that it's got going on. I don't even know we'll, if we'll get a direct hit, even if we are totally centered. But we'll have to give it a minute to uh, allow it to relax a little bit because this is just going back and forth. Okay, that's looking good to me. I'm going to get out of that camera and let's connect right to, I'm assuming that is the rocket. I want to slow this down too. By the way, we are going extremely slow as you can see at 54%, so this thing is much faster than it seemed. Uh, Alright, but here we go. Oh my... Well, that wasn't supposed to... <laughs> that wasn't supposed to happen. <laughs> okay, so I hit the brake so hard that uh, that's the rocket <laughs> on the ground. I guess, I guess it's not actually connected to the uh, weapon here. So it just kind of hangs out, and, uh, yeah, you know what? For science, <laughs> that's right. It didn't even blow up. Is that part of it? All right, hold on. Let's try and shoot this thing. I, I don't know if we need that piece. Yep. Yep, that, uh, that was my, that was the rocket underneath me, I think, combusting. Great. <laughs> All right, so we're locked and loaded. I think the issue really is this rocket design, though. It really does have some play issues, and as you can see, it kind of wobbles around ever so slightly. Obviously, when you're aiming it, though, that makes it a little bit harder, but let's... <laughs> <laughs> well, we took out a house. Okay, the rocket was a dud for me. Uh, oh, God. Oh, God. Okay, it's still killing... There we go! We took it out, guys! It only took a little bit of time. What the hell? That, that rocket's got some serious power under it. Clearly, really hard to aim, though. There's still things going on. Like, there's things blowing up over there. Jesus Christ, there's a guy on the ground in blood over here. And we also still have some weapons on the side, as you can see. So, uh, yeah, we're gonna pay a little visit to the uh, knights over here and see if we can uh, actually shoot something on target. Now, the gun mounts, they do move, as you can see, ever so slightly. Uh, looks like, yeah, you move both sides at the same time. It doesn't look like I can lower them, though, so I don't think this is going to go very well. We're just too close. We'll give it a shot, though. Uh, hopefully, four is the right side, and yes, there we go. Oh, that wasn't too bad. Okay, so they didn't uh, overpower these things to the point where they're, you know, totally pointless. And there we go. We at least took out some homes, and of course, we took the other side as well. And, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it with this goblin land ship. I do want to see if it's actually good at getting over terrain, because I think with how big this thing is, if it won't flip over like that because it is a trike design, I think it should get up some pretty big hills. All right, let's see how this thing can do with some terrain torture testing here. Here we go. I mean, it is kind of a tank. It's a very heavy tank, obviously, but it's got that huge front tread. We should do okay here as long as... The side treads do not break, and I'm going way up on this hill. I shouldn't be doing that. But these things, it looks like the suspension is there, and it's doing a really good job at going over these bumps. I mean, look at that stuff. That is beautiful. Uh, they, these two tracks are hitting each other here, and I'm worried they might actually rip the tracks apart over time. So we do got to watch out for that, but we should be able to make it quite far. Oh, yeah, you see how it clipped there? It's actually gr getting grabbed by the hull of the ship. So hopefully that hull breaks instead of the actual track. All right, the big question is, will this thing survive the drop? This is a very heavy uh, vehicle here. So this is going to be a big drop to survive. But we are going very fast, as you can tell. Ooh, 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 ooh. Didn't break the track. We're still good here. Climbing up hills, no problem at all. I think it has the weight to do it. But we are top heavy, and it looks like, oh, I'm going to hit this wall. 
And yeah, I think this is over. Come on, baby. Keep it together. Come on, push the weight back. Push the weight back. I've stopped moving forward because I'm trying to push the weight back. Yeah, we're uh, totally sidelined here. Unfortunately, same spot we got stuck with the other vehicle we were testing. I believe it was last week. Uh, this is just an extremely hard part of the track. Let's see. I'm still moving forward. Let's see if I can push myself back on my uh, treads once I get over this hill, though. Ooh, oh, this might actually work. I think, I think we're still good. Okay, we were totally sideways, but we still had the uh, torque to push forward, and we realigned ourselves, so let's keep going. I knew this thing would be an absolute beast at uh, getting over rough terrain. It's just got the uh, height to deal with it, and uh, with three tank treads, it makes life a lot easier. Look at I'm having no problem getting up these crazy hard hills. I think we actually made it to the end. Uh, parts of my ship are ripping off, but that's fine. As long as the, the tank tracks are there, we're good. Ooh, I'm going faster than I thought. I might actually flip it here unintentionally. Uh, we do have some rough terrain in, in this water as well that I'm, I'm dealing with. But no, we're still good. And is that the end? Did we make it? I guess we can try and go up that thing. I will try and do it. Ooh, we might actually hit the top here. Nope, we did get over it. I'm not noticing how big these uh, boulders are in the water here. It's pushing me all over the place. Oh, this might be bad. This might be bad. Yep. Okay, I underestimated how hard this part is because it doesn't look like they're that big, but they truly are. Still, even after I crashed it, those tank treads stayed together. That doesn't happen very often in Besiege. This is by far one of the best tank treads that I've seen, so... Yeah, really impressive design here, and in the right hands, we definitely could have got further. I really did want to try this thing. All right, and we got an Aerial Atom today and a new Aerial Racetrack. I didn't even notice that, but yes, they're both called Aerial. Aerial Atom in an Aerial Racetrack. All right, so this one's pretty cool because uh, it doesn't play like any other racetrack. Basically, we can break through certain blocks, and then other blocks try and totally kill us. Now, these things that I'm picking up... Therefore, if you have cannons, I guess it will reload your cannons, which is pretty cool. I'm not using any cannons on my aerial atom, though. I'm going all about speed and maneuverability, and so far... Oh, Jesus, okay, I guess that one won't blow us up. That's good. But yes, there's some bad tiles you don't want to hit either, so I'm trying my best. This is my first run here. I, I didn't even do any practices. I gotta say, this aerial atom, I mean... As it should, this thing is an absolute beast. Flying through this track with no oh, god damn it. Oh, there we go. Okay, I, I was just saying how good it was, and then I ran into something. What is that over there? Okay, it looks like the ending we have to get through that. I, I just spoiled the ending. Sorry, okay, guys. All right, we're going to play this a little bit safer. Let's go this way. This one's only going that far, so yeah. I uh, actually had a little bit of a hard time trying to get through that. That was ridiculous. Whoa, that was uh, a few too many doors. Okay, so yeah, it looks like this mostly just goes back and forth down these things, and you gotta successfully dodge whatever it throws at you and uh, get all the way to the end. So, well, looks like there's no more banks, so we do have to watch. Oh my god! Holy crap, Ariadne! You went way too far, man! Oh, that sucks. I didn't expect to have to do a little jump. You know what? Let's keep going with three with three wheels. Oh god. Okay, yep. That's too much for me. And I think that's where we're going to leave off this one. So we did make it quite far, but you can see that this is a true challenge map. Like, you got to get through a lot of different things. Now, I think these things, the left ones you can shoot and they'll blow up. The right ones will kill you. So uh, that's what those are if you are curious. And then here's the ending here that we're never going to get to, unfortunately. But yeah, that's a really cool map. I'm liking these challenge race courses that are coming out. And we might have the best all-around walker that we've ever seen in Besiege. This is simply called Runner by Petal. And yes, it is indeed a walker and a runner. And also, look at that. It is actually... It looks like a knight. Obviously, a decked-out knight here. This guy's got some special machinery. So do the knights have uh, new weapons? Well, yes, indeed, they do. Now, obviously, being that this one's called Runner, I mean, oh, God. All right, don't, don't, don't fall over, buddy. Okay, he's going to have to get his gripping here. There we go, and he is good to go. A little bit hobbly, but uh, the fact that we're running right now is extremely impressive, and we can totally turn this thing. Let's turn around here. This thing's got a lot of weapons on it. Let's actually go 
to the camera. Look at that. It's got a heads-up display as well. And it's even got a speedometer here. And we're going pretty damn quick for a runner, man. All right, but let's see how good this thing is. I wonder if this heads-up display is accurate. Let's, let's try something here. Okay, so we have an anti-material cannon. Oh, wow. Okay, that was cool. Uh, you can see it totally reset my guy. I missed that. I didn't expect that to be a shot, to be honest. And we do also have the rockets! Oh, yeah, there it goes. It's totally gone. That was amazing. Now, these aren't just any rockets. They're actually modded rockets. So, for example, you don't see my mouse right now, but you should see when I click, yes, there's a red dot there. I didn't really want that there. I wanted that house over there. You can auto lock. Now, that is amazing. And let's see how good this is. So, we're going to shoot this way, going right over there. And it looks like it's a little low. Never mind, she's gone. Oh my god, what has Besiege become? This is blowing me away. So we still have two more rockets in this thing. Let's see if we can do a crazy turn. All right, so we're out of the cameras. I'm going to click that and let's see if... Oh my god, this thing is legit. This is horrifying. I mean, you really don't even need to aim anymore in Besiege. This thing is a weapon of war if I've ever saw one. I'm really curious what else that anti-material cannon does. We already shot it off, though. I should also mention this thing is half tank. It can, as you can see, rotate left and right, so it has, like, a tank turret on the top, which is pretty cool, and we can obviously raise and lower our weapons as well. He can also do the worm, evidently, but if you do get stuck like this, you just gotta be majestic and get back. Okay, wait. Wait. That wasn't supposed to happen. There is a button that makes you lift upright again, but this 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 flying thing that this this is new. This is this is this is a new feature. And you know what? With how fast this thing is at running, I honestly don't even think we need the weapons of this. We should be able to run right through the majority of the things we need to in this game. So there. <laughs> yep. No problem. Well, we had a little bit of a struggle there, but no problem at all, really. And uh, okay, there we go. Let's try and realign our feet again. And this time, let's not float away. Perfect. Look at that. It actually does kind of work. All right, get, get your footing, man. Because we're going through the big part now. We got to take out the whole tower. Oh, oh, oh. Had a little bit of a struggle there, but we did get it after a little bit of a challenge. You there. I don't like the look of you. Oh, my God. Okay, so that was a little bit too hard of a turn, and I killed myself as well. I guess I deserved that one. guys and on that we're gonna wrap up another episode of the best besiege creations here i hope you guys enjoyed this episode checking out some truly unique designs now i will say a lot of you guys have been asking for longer episodes the reality is besiege is a little bit of an older game now we all have to accept that and i don't want to show you guys creations just for the sake of showing you creations i want to show you the best and most impressive uh, and obviously something that is new and totally unique. So that's why these are a little bit shorter now, just because, well, there's less creators now that this game is, what, four years old? Is it really that old already? Yes, it probably is. So I just wanted to let you guys know that, because a lot of you guys have been asking for longer episodes. I just, I, I don't feel right doing longer episodes just for the sake of having a longer episode, so yeah. I hope you don't mind, and I hope you're still enjoying the best Besiege creations. And as always, if you want to check out any of the creations that were in this episode, there'll be a link in the description. Thank you so much for watching and liking, guys. And I'll see you in the next one.